and welcome to Shoot the Shit Saturday. It's me, Nicholas Zombie, joined by Ring Leader 0612. I don't know the numbers, was that right? 0612. Yeah, Ring Leader. And there's also Valkyrie Grinder. The one of the only hostess with the mostest of this channel. And don't forget our beloved mascot of the channel. Espionage DB7. Uh, I prefer, you know, spiritual advisor, leader. That's why you're the mascot. The, the so wacky. Highly rated, armor plated. Look at him. He's saying his, he's never saying never his motto. Right. He's so he's like, always a mascot. He's always just, always just, just like a mascot. <laughs> I understand. Every mascot has a motto. I'm the glue that holds <laughs> this whole Zoinks? thing together. I am not and the shaggy of the group. Do not make. <laughs> oh, you are the shaggy I'm the of the group. I'm the friend of the group, okay? No way. You're I'm the friend Fred. of the group. You're not Fred, dude. You are not Fred. Well, I'm not shaggy, that's, that's, that's for sure. Jesse's Fred. Yeah, Jesse. No, yeah, my, yeah, Obs is Fred. Uh, well, I ain't, sh I ain't shaggy. That's, that's for. Th Wait, why is Obs no. Fred? Obs is totally Fred. Fred. He has Fred vibes, man. Yeah, man. Like, he's totally chill. And he doesn't get yeah. excited, like, all crazy, like, zoinks. Like, okay, you. well, what? Yeah. Oh, well, well, I'm not Shaggy. <laughs> you're Shaggy. I mean, you are. I'm you're Scooby. totally Shaggy, dude. I'm Scooby. I'm the fucking show's named after me, okay? No, welcome I'm to, Scooby. Welcome to Espen Friends. I'm Scooby. What? What, what the fuck? We're Espen Friends. Espen Friends. Are you saying we're all fucking scientists? See, because I've been the fucking dead <laughs> Damn right. Obs is scientist to no man. Exactly. Obs is not here. Yeah. And speaking of Obs not being here, our special guest, Jess. Hello. I don't have a, a name tag for there you. Go. I'm sorry. You, you, you need That's more uh, excitement in your in your in your tone, I am. Uh, Ray, you are not anyone to speak about that. <laughs> I'm just know. saying. I, I have. I have. I'm a flat. <laughs> I, I <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Anyway, it's been a while. How's everyone been? I was yeah. sick for uh, the better part of a week, and it sucked. Yeah, that happened to me too. Worst thing is I don't even know if it was COVID. It could have been COVID. I wouldn't even know. I just, I, I totally just had like a, COVID. It felt like a flu. I, I yeah, that's every what it COVID it felt like. It might have been COVID. Yeah, I, I mean, I take every precaution. I go out. I wear masks. I, I have hand sanitizer in my car. But you know, somebody could have COVID, and then they bring me delivery, and I touch it, yeah. and you know, so that's no exactly way. how. That's exactly how I got it. And by exactly how I got it, I went to Benihana, and then I went to drinks afterwards, and that's probably how I got it. No, yeah, well. Well, I've been exposed, but I haven't received it. That's why I've been up working from home. I exposed and myself. Then, and that's how I ended up working from home. Wait, 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 wait. I forget. Wow. Oh, wait. Never mind. I, I was about to say, wait, can we like, not, can we not talk about COVID like for the first five minutes or else we get like flagged or something? But we don't get, we don't get money from this, so we're fine. You get flagged if you talk about talk about COVID. We're not spraying. I'm not flagged, but like you get like a little like advisory. Notice. Like, oh, yeah, a little notice. Yeah. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? We're not like yeah, spreading no, misinformation. No, 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 not like that. Not like that. I'm not saying that you know horse worm is the way to go. But wow, yeah. clean up. Why <laughs> <laughs> use the word panorama instead of the actual other word because they don't want those advisories. <laughs> Yeah. It's a good podcast. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, so what movies or television shows or content have you been absorbing this time? I want to talk about the fact that they're rebooting King of the Hill. Anybody? Listen, I saw that as the joke. No, no, it's, it's, it's a continuation. continuation. Yeah, but yeah. I saw that as a joke, and it was like everyone was sharing it, and like everyone was too excited, and like then it's like that's not real, I'm like man. And then I feel like everyone saw that, or the executives saw that, and like you can totally make money off these people. <laughs> you can totally do it right now. So it, it, it's fucking my judge. He probably like he had it. He, dude's he an probably, actor. He probably shared it, seeing if it gained traction, and then we saw it. I was like, I'm gonna get more fucking money on these people. So it's gonna be like twenty years later, which will be interesting. I wonder if Bobby's still living at home or if he made his life as a if comedian. Anyone, if anyone still living at home is Luann. It would be great husband. if he was a comedian. Dude, Luann's character or Luann's voice actor. Oh right, she away. died. Yeah, yeah, we can't have Luann or what. So if anything, they're no. probably gonna have another voice actress, but she'll make like small appearances. She, she or the writer be, off. Yeah, she's. How not, old would Hank be now? Well, Hank was probably in his what, like. 45 or so 
forties. Yeah, same, same, but now it's definitely in the sixties. Yeah. Maybe Bob's dead, so no need to worry about that. I'll, I'll bet okay. Bob Strickland. Bob, dead, yeah. is it uh, Bob Cotton. Strickland? What? What's Strickland? Bob Strickland, Strickland. way no, he has to be buried or super dead. Yeah, there like, we go. Heart 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 so if he was even gonna be alive, he'd be like he'd be he had multiple heart attacks and shit, so he's gonna be yeah. dead. I say heart Hank Hill's heart. gonna be in charge of Strickland. Now it's gonna be. Uh, I mean, who else would inherit it? I mean, it would be uh, Joe Bob. Joe Bob. Yeah. I can see Joe Bob doing it. <laughs> yeah, just just to smother in, you know, the idea that yeah, you're not events anymore, dude. You're fucking stuck. I, I yeah. you know, King of the Hill used to touch on current events, and uh, oh, it'll totally touch on current. Yeah, events. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see that because it's gonna be really weird to see a post-Trump King of the Hill. Yes, yes, I've seen like actual people on forums and shit debate like whether or not Hank would. Yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah, no way. Hank would do it. So it's gonna be Hank interesting. Hank would be a man without a country before he did that. Yeah, and it's gonna be very interesting to see them dealing with the pandemic, dealing with the current political. I don't know climate. if they'll do a pandemic. I feel like it'll like not do that. I think they maybe. Should. I'm disappointed that fucking Bob's Burgers didn't deal more with the pandemic, other than like a 30 second like promo clip. Cause they don't want to think about that, man. TV's about yeah, man. We don't have to deal with it. They don't have to do yeah, that. They already deal with it every day. Hey, look, yeah, I have to deal with this shit. I want to see my favorite cartoon characters deal with the same bullshit That's that I have and make it make like hilarious situations out of it. No, because you make awkward situations. Shut up. I'm alright. I don't need my show doing that. Speaking of Bob's Burgers as well, I'm I'm interested in the Bob's Burgers movie. I have no interest in that. I love Bob's Burgers. It's, it's a pretty good show. It's I think funny, but it's funny like it's funny like Family Guy's funny. And when I see clips huh. of it on on oh, YouTube, no, I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. Well, yeah, the movie the, the movie comes out on the 27th of May. Fuck Family Guy. Family Guy is just no. I mean, like that's how I find it funny. Like, oh, I'll see a clip on the internet real quick and like, huh, that's okay. Yeah. Family Guy was watch funny the like in the first and three parts of the second season, and after that, it's just been a downhill ride. Yeah, Family Guy is just. It has clips that are fun. Like, there's this one clip from Family Guy that I fucking find hilarious. And I know it It came from the episode where Brian apparently was killed because that fucking happened. But there's a scene where Joe shows up at the funeral and he's like, You know, Lois, I don't normally go to funerals because every time I do show up and a black woman starts hitting me with a purse. And sure enough, right then and there, a black woman comes out and just starts hitting Joe with her purse. Like, you find the man that did this. You bring him to justice. You make sure this angel child didn't die for nothing. You do what you do. Or, you know, I don't know what the fuck everything she says, but it's hilarious. It's so stereotypical because there's so many movies that have stuff like that. But, you know, you'll never find a better ally than that woman. Yes. <laughs> pausing for somebody to add um, yeah, there was only to add <coughs> anyway I don't know so, I, um, I want to say one of the movies that I've been um, I haven't fully finished uh -huh. but I've been looking forward to finish is Encanto you know what when I had COVID that's a good movie I watched it because I was it's like I'm bored is that this Encanto? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And my favorite so, sister is Luisa. Sorry. She is the best and she's the hottest. Yeah, she is. <laughs> muscle mommy. Dominate me, muscle mommy. Y'all are talking about hot women in a Disney thing. Yeah, there's, well, a bit, you, there's been plenty. Have you not been watching have Disney? Have you not seen yeah, fucking okay, uh, okay, okay, the okay. Incredibles? Yeah, Holy Incredibles. Shit. Oh my fucking God. Miss Incredibles is fucking thick as hell. God she's damn. Thicker than a bag. Yeah, than a fucking tub of oatmeal. Anyway. This is not, not, this it's, not something yeah. new, friend. This is no, I just like, honestly, like, all jokes aside, I like how, from what I've seen, like, they're, ah. they're trying, okay, so, like, Louisa, she carried, she pretty much bears the weight of the family, like, she's... Now, that, I don't know if she does, I feel like she just has to do a lot of work. That, but she's, she has to, like, the grandmother's the most, she's... She's the villain. Really is because she. If you're not special, then you don't matter. That's like I feel like I feel like Louisa thinks that she has to bear the weight because she's the oldest of them. 
Yeah. And that kind of makes sense in that kind of Spanish, you know, Southern America dynamic. Um, she also has the best song. He does. I love so, her song. Like, yeah, I am does. going to buy her song. Because yeah, I saw, I saw that song before I saw the movie. I was like, all right, I'll watch the movie. I just love how she eats the donkeys. Yeah. Yeah, she eats great. donkeys? What? She eats, she eats donkeys. Them. Like she throws them. Yeets. Oh, yeet! Like, yeet! Yes. Oh, I, th- I th- Come on, get with it, old man. I thought she was eating donkey. Like, what? Uh, well, they wouldn't show that on that particular That's what I was season. thinking. Like, what the f- They wouldn't show that, would they? I don't know. Disney Plus is weird. Speaking of movies <laughs> seen recently... We don't I- talk about Bruno? We don't talk about Bruno. Who's Bruno? <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. Like well, then, Fight Club. Why did you bring it. up Bruno if you don't oh, talk about Oh, speaking of Fight Club, Meatloaf's dead. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Louis His Anderson. name was Robert Paulson. His Louis. name was Robert Paulson. Louis Anderson. The guy who did, uh, uh, and Betty White. Betty Rest White. In peace, Miss Betty. And, and yeah. the guy who voiced Charlie Brown. He suicided, yeah. What the fuck is that? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah the original yeah. voice. He had gone to prison for, I think, sexual assault, but he, was, re- he was released in like 2019. I was going to talk about Bob Saget. Anyway, continue. Well, he, the original voice actor of Charlie Brown, he went to prison for sexual assault, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all might want to do your own research because I'm not 100% sure. I just- no, no, this is 100% sure, legally binding, as for saying this. <laughs> I mean, I could pull it up and do research but i don't feel like it <laughs> that's okay right now. yeah then, that's I'll, I'll let ring be my fact check we have fact Slander. checkers here okay but anyway Slander. uh he went to prison for something he came out right as the pandemic was ramping up um and i guess just yeah. like you know everything that he went through uh which i mean obviously he was he was in prison for doing something but i guess you know psychologically it it was too much for him to bear and he just couldn't yeah. take it and he he committed suicide i don't know the exact method of death but i know he he killed that's himself. insane yeah didn't then, hear about that one at all bob saget louis yeah, so I, was, I was talking about you know people that we there were good people who died and you brought up this charlie brown mom now, I, didn't uh, bring I, him can, up. I can confirm that he did go to prison for a short time he was also bipolar and had all sorts of mental and drug health issues over the years. Uh, he, however, though he, they did confirm that he did uh, die of suicide. Crazy. There's there someone age else. Of Sixty-five. Woo-hoo. There was there was someone else. Bob Saget. I, no, not Bob Saget. Oh, was like a, a famous actor. There was a famous I, actor. I think they said the Bob Saget one is related to stroke. Probably. Is that what happened, Bob? Yeah, he he was having problems at that night. There's a comedian who passed too. Uh, There's another comedian. It wasn't just Bob Saget. He was um. J- was uh, Louis Anderson. Um, yeah, Louis yeah. Anderson. Louis Anderson, but yeah, it's Louis. A lot of oh. lot of famous corpses. Was that guy's name Stamos? Uh, John? Is it John Stamos or Jason Stamos? Um, the one that played on Uncle Jesse. He apparently took uh, Bob Saget's death like super hard. Yeah, but same friends. Yeah, they, he he was like he was inconsolable apparently. Yeah. So um, yeah, the the year's yeah. taking its toll already. We're not even in February yet, man. But they're, lo- they're looking at, at at stroke because there's no drug, no foul play. It's just literally a you know dead. Just died. Yeah, which does happen. And, you know, stroke can cause stroke can cause sudden death. Can happen. Yeah. And that concludes the deaf portion of the podcast. Yes. So moving on, I want to <laughs> talk to something that's talk about something that seems to be on every fucking corner of the internet lately. NFTs. NFTs? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> fucking knew it. <laughs> right? Because they're we be- everywhere. We right? better not be start selling our own. I hate that. No, I ain't gonna sell. I'll, I'll quit the podcast. I am not. I am not- okay. okay. So first of all, I want to know if I have the understanding of what a fucking NFT is. Correct. An huh? NFT is basically a JPEG that has something it digitally encoded onto it that makes it unique. Is that all right? Is, is that so right? I, I, uh, it's something on less. the blockchain. So, uh, NFTs are... This really what makes an NFT an NFT is not the art. Fuck the art. I don't give a shit about the art. No one cares about art. They no. just want money. 
But NFTs use what the blockchain much like crypto. The problem is that to create a single blockchain for an NFT is often very energy intensive. Which means it's a fucking risk to your infrastructure. If you want to talk about the fucking um, bullshit that involved with the the snowstorm snow thing the other day, other year, right? Then you definitely won't like NFTs. Matter of fact, uh, in so a, a couple country was Kazakhstan or some of like that. Apparently, they're having electricity issues. They're keeping up the lights in general because all the NFTs and crypto is eating up all the power on the grid. Uh, in fact, Texas is advertising itself to be a crypto thing soon. So, oh God. Yeah. if you enjoyed electrical electrical issues this last year, you love crypto and NFTs. Uh, but as they say, fuck NFTs. You're at, you're a bunch of assholes for using them and playing crypto. I heard some fucking. It's idiot. okay to bully crypto nerds. And uh, art does not need NFTs. <laughs> People are making art beforehand with making money just fine. If you need... It doesn't even seem like it's like an artist thing. It doesn't seem like artists are making money. It's like rich assholes are printing It is. Things. It literally is. It's just like... It's just rich, rich assholes. It's, it's, rich it's asshole. a status symbol. It's like, look at what I have. I have this fucking monkey here. Yeah. I don't even and then, and then they have a bunch of small artists thinking like, okay, maybe I can make some kind of money if I get on it. Causing more yeah, NFTs. It, and it, it ruins the point of the NFT. I think I have some art. I'm gonna I fucking make a cock face NFT. That's real stupid. See, you wanna make an NFT, don't you fucking don't. do it. Don't you don't. fucking do it. I don't, I don't even know how to do point. it. I can Good. Like Good. I wouldn't even know how. But Stay just in it. case I you know if, not that I would no. ever consider it, but like if Oh he's if, considering it, it's in the background. No, so I'm I just saying, it. like how would I see somebody the gear even spinning. do something? You, like know, you know, hypothetically, how would you do that? And let me write down the steps. Because I mean we do have our own like little avatars. Nothing. I'm not saying. Don't, don't even talk about it. Yeah. Don't. I'm, I'm not talking. About we don't it. talk about it. Right? Uh, and I just we don't talk about, about it. it. Like, hey, is this a good idea? And those people often get trashed on the internet. So let's yeah, not do that, you. shall we? Thank we you. NFTs. Now let's talk about something where everyone can enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can <laughs> fine. I want to talk about me falling down the Yu-Gi-Oh spiral real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, it's free on Steam. Yeah, so anyway, that game came out, and I saw it on Switch. I was like, oh man, I remember Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. Let me play Yu-Gi-Oh. This would be fun. My god, the game has changed. There's like pendulum summoning and link summoning and there's, there's not even a, jar, a pot of greed anymore. They banned it. It's not there. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I think I just I'm want probably... someone blue eyes. That game is such bullshit, though. It's an intricate set of rules and like, like the rules are so weird. You can do like all played by just one simple fucking card. And, and like and monsters like... have effects that are more impactful <coughs> than me, magic sorry. cards and and like, strap cards now. Bad, but man, I can only imagine the fucking sweaty ass fucking nerds and playing Yu Gi Oh. Honestly, I am I'm, not I'm, a I'm trying fan. not to fall I've in, never been but a it's fan. I loved Yu Gi Oh when I was a kid because it was cool. I was like, oh look, monsters. That's neat. I remember I had cards when I was a kid. Then they got ruined. Maybe it was the best thing that ever happened to me. They got ruined. I don't know. How'd they get but ruined? Fuck. Oh, it was like a flood above our apartment. Oh, that sucks. I had a binder full of them. I just got ruined. Sucked. I still have my uh, monster or mo- uh, magic cards. Yeah. yeah never got into magic. Never got into magic. I'm I'm a magic person. I had a friend in high school tried to teach me how to do Magic the Gathering and like I, I never felt so stupid because I just couldn't grasp it. Like I I feel I'm an intelligent person. I don't know if I am or not, but I feel like I'm an intelligent person. Of course Dunning Kruger effect, you know, tells that the stupider you are the more intelligent but never mind. <laughs> What um, the fuck? You, you know there's a thing called the Dunning-Kruger effect. I don't know why I started talking about Freddy Krueger, but please continue. No, Dunning-Kruger, there's a thing where incredibly stupid people think that they're smart, and that makes them yeah. arrogant, but yeah. uh, I don't know if I'm part of that. Never mind. I yeah. I think I'm intelligent, see, but I don't see, know. See, what you're doing right now is fishing for compliments. No, I'm not fishing and for that's, compliments. And just, that's not that's I, not a smart or dumb thing. I'm not that's fishing for compliments. I'm just saying I don't know. I, I feel like I'm an intelligent person. I don't know how intelligent see, I am. But I just trust... Stop. 
I never was able to grasp Magic the Gathering. Like, he sat me down. It was at, like, the lunch table in high school. And he's like, this is how you do it. And he set him up and stuff like that. And I was like, I just, I, it went completely over my head. Like, I never got, like, Magic the Gathering or any of that. So, yeah, I could never yeah. get into those kind of games. Yeah, I don't know. But Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to understand. I used to be basic. Get your monster. Get your spell. And get your trap card. Boom. Now it's like, get your monster. Get your monster that's a pendulum. Get your monster that links. Get your monster with the effect. Get a spell. Do this again. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw more cards. It's like, what the fuck is happening? I don't know the game anymore. But for some reason, I still enjoy, you know, just watching shit happen. I used to Every once in a while, I get a blue eyes, and I'll be like, yeah. Look at him. Draw cards. cards. Reset. Draw a card. Play exactly. uh, spells. Play land. What it is. Play, what it is. play monsters. Is that, what, is that what magic is? Action. Yes. Play instance. Play uh, attack. Quick uh, second, second main phase. Cast more spells if you want to. You have remaining uh, mana left. Draw After more that, cards. Do oh, so magic is the same and thing. And yeah, magic is the same much. thing. Okay, okay. These games are weird. I, I literally just list, list, listed the entire battle phase for one, one turn. Yeah, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is. Yeah, that's similar. I used oh, okay. to watch the Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon. Yeah, that's why I like to play the game, because it's like the cartoon. I like the cartoon, but I don't like the game, the cards. I, like, I, I really believe in the hard I really don't like the art style. I really don't like the... Oh, I love the, the art style, dude. bullshit that they pull sometimes. And then the cards have no value, so you can't really sell them too much. So they're like two cents a card sometimes. No oh, cards. You just gotta find good Whereas cards. Whereas Magic, they, you can have cards that are up to like $100. No problem if you pull it from a theme, which means they're valuable in their own way. Because of what they do. Let's What's really interesting, Shane, about that er, ring is that the fact that an actual original Blue Eyes White Dragon, an original one, is worth over $2,000. Yeah. And exactly. Black Lotus is like worth hundreds of thousands. That's a Black Lotus. It was a card from the earlier generation Magic where it was a card that used to have free mana on the first turn with no spell cost. So it's, so it's just the same game, almost. Um, it, it's like yeah, little, <coughs> little things that make it different, but it's almost the same game. I would say it's very different because, yeah. eh, I mean, from what you're talking, it, it sounds a lot more familiar than what Pokemon sounds like. Pokemon's a stupid game. Pokemon is really dumb, dude. The card Literally. game is the dumbest thing I've ever played. Like, yeah, with, like with the energies and like the fucking. I hate the card game. I challenge you all I, to. Baby. I think my view of video is just like jaded because I'm so used to the, the TV show, which, by the way. Ignored all the games. In the oh yeah, but it was so much it. cooler. Fuck that was. Yeah, the TV show is great. Yeah, Pokemon has it has a different kind of issue where Pokemon has a, had a good cartoon and had the video games are great, but the card game was just so. Yeah, I have a friend, friend or not friend. Card my card. sister's dude, like, mm-hmm. goes to part card packs just to find the rare cards and just ditches the rest basically. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm, I'm terrified. Of doing I don't know. I, I, now imagine like opening, yeah, opening card packs is kind of fun. I get yeah. the appeal, but man, people who just like open boxes trying to find something. Like, I I, I, I found like twenty dollar cards in, in in some packs, which is pretty cool. But I'll never resell them because I don't want to put effort to sell things to begin with. Yeah, there's a lot of effort you got to go through. Yeah, it just seems kind ridiculous. Of fire, the negotiated price and so it's, it's, it's a it's a world I don't want to fall into. I have no problem buying cards though, and Nick can tell you that or Val, I should say. No, yeah. I like how we're just we, giving up on our, our usernames. <laughs> like for some reason, we're just we just gave it. This this is the episode where no one gave a shit. <laughs> well, I mean, Nick, what do you, you think did about you that? Ever give a shit? Mm? Yeah, no, I'm mine because what I've done is I'm never gonna fucking do it. Nicholas Zombie. That's it. I don't give a fuck. I, I like my name. Yeah. It easily goes to Nick. Nick is a common. It's I mean nickname. There you go. Just call yeah. me Jespionage. That's just bad. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, but yeah, I know. I got into Yu Gi Oh! again because of the game that came out on Switch and PC. So. What the fuck is Beyblade? Oh, dude, fuck Beyblades. Those are dumb. Uh, don't want to talk about it. Yeah, those are like the things that they had the same Yu Gi Oh! hair, but it was just about a fucking throwing a stupid. <laughs> 
spinner. Is that pretty much a lot of fucking nerds playing uh, uh, spinners or spin top? Yeah, that's, that's all that is. Man, it's you all have no room to talk about nerds. Fucking I mean. nerds. Stupid little nerds eating their boogers, playing their Beyblades. Oh, blades. no, nerds. Bully and I mean, it's a hobby the- thing if they're into it. Fucking y'all are into nerd. It. Y'all are into it. Fucking nerd. Now let me go play with my blue eyes white dragon. Y'all are into your Yugi Mon. I mean, fuck. Yugi Mon. No, you know, he's it's saying that's a little bit of a thing. My little, uh, my, uh, fucking landing deck uh, from Magic Gathering, fucking Zendikar says. So all, I, all I've been trying to do is fucking summon Exodia. And I need to get, like, the right cards to do it. And I just want to summon Exodia once and I'll be done. What the fuck does that even mean? They're cards. Summon- what do you fucking Did summon- you never watch the first episode yeah. of Yu Gi Oh? Yes, okay, everyone but, but what did. I mean is everyone how do you- saw Exodia. No, shit, how do you yeah. summon yeah. something yeah. when yeah. you've yeah. seen the first show? No, but what three, I'm saying is, like, in the fucking form of a card, yeah. Yeah. you get three cards first or whatever. Episode. Yeah, it's man. What's the problem? You're the best monster ever. You can't I'm not talking about anything. No, I'm not. I'm talking about it like in the form of a card. What? If you gather a certain amount of cards, do they fucking like goddamn transmogrify into another yes, card of that's what yes. it does that's yes. what you need you need the five pieces the card's of physical properties change and mutate on the into game each in in the video no. game yes let me let me let me, let me, let me tell you some of card games real quick okay let me let me say that this is a case <laughs> lesson most card games have this rule you have to follow the rules of your turns and stuff like that but the card can have specific text on what it can do, and that can actually, actually ignore the rules. It's true. Yes. And so it's only you know a case where if you draw all five, if you have managed to find all five cards in your hand, which no it, one has ever done. I'm kidding. It's not and, and, the, and the cartoon show, anyways. Yeah, it happened at one time. <laughs> on the, that one video. Hold on. What is that? What is that? Oh, and gosh. so what, when you draw the five cards, it's an automatic lose for the other player. Because yeah. there's nothing to stop Exodia. And, and Exodia is unstoppable. So yeah. it's an automatic loss. He's the forbidden and, one. Yeah. And there's, and there's a video game reference because this guy's like playing a speed run of some like, uh, I think like, uh, the, I think like the third or second video game. And he's like, yeah, we're just playing this here. He's like, okay, he's, he's playing Padre or Padre, it's whatever. And then he draws another one, dun, 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 and then draws another, and, dun, dun, and then boss an automatic loss. There's Exodia. It was done. Exodia. His whole fucking speed run was blown because of the fucking AI drew Exodia. It's amazing. It's amazing. It was fucking hilarious. It's a, it sounds dumb, but it's so hyped to do it, and I want to yeah. do it. Now, as another example, okay, uh, when I play Magic the Gathering, you can you can put down land cards, and these are this is your mana you can use to cast your spells and shit, right? Mana. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have this one mom monster I love to play it. Uh, which, if you have the monster on the field, when you drop a land, it creates another monster of that kind. That's in you as well. Yeah. So if you keep doing it, it creates a small army that cannot be stopped because it just fucks everything up. It's very annoying. Yes, it is. So card games have the same where there's rules until the card breaks the rules, and that's on purpose. That's what gives the game its spice. And that's when those games, those cards get banned. Uh, my, the ones I'm interested in are weren't. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I do. I don't. I don't. I've heard about ban lists being a huge thing. I don't fucking. I'm trying how, not to fall in. How do you fucking ban cards if they're made to be used in the way that you're because talking about like tournaments? And it's like, just like it's just like okay. You, you hear of, of you may have heard of that'd be like at a uh, fucking poker game. They're banning the and aces. Jesus because, Christ! It is, you, but it's only for like tournaments. Like tournaments will ban certain Smash characters because you know. The bullshit yeah, they like do sometimes. Stages, they'll ban stages all the time. Yeah, they're assholes. They're dead bags. I don't want. I don't want to the flat people. surface. I, 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 I don't want to be killed by the stage. I'll be. I'll give them that. I don't want scrolling stages like S chose. Fucking the scrolling stage. Why is yeah. it always S did this? S did that? Like that As one time. You, 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 you choose the but, scrolling stages. But what no, I mean you, is, you, like, you gotta deal with the consequences of your choices. Yeah, but everybody has equal like. You know, I'll be honest. Val also has chosen scrolling stages as well. Yeah, yeah. and Val's always the pink puffing. Uh, 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 Kirby. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, how did I get brought bring into Why this are you conversation? About Kirby. Because Kirby, I I don't know. Are well, you gonna Kirby. say Kirby sucks? No, he's his main move. I, I work with what I'm good at. I don't care if it's a 
Nick Kirby's fine. That character. I'm good with that character, so I'm gonna stick to it. No, I'm yeah. no, no, no. Why are you belittling Val's choice? Fuck Sephiroth. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> I hate you, buddy, friend. I'm so glad that Banjo is not banned at all. To talk about Feels Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth. Anyway. anyway. So that was our tangent oh, about know, card like, games. Even when it comes to, like, tournaments and stuff like that, I mean, I'm not knocking on it, but it's not my thing, because I just like to play things that just make me happy, and so I don't think I'll be one of the people who will <coughs> be part of the tournament bits. Yeah, no, I'm not into it. Fun, though. What the hell? So anyway, yeah, I fell in the Yu-Gi-Oh! hole, trying not to fall too deep. I just saw the fucking, uh, thing that Ring posted, the... Uh, um, AEW wrestling and then somebody saying update Team Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, there's a bunch of nerds that watch AEW. It's great. And a bunch of nerds go to AEW. They do. It's the best. It's all about L- LCW. No. Like Kuna no. Championship Wrestling. No, it's not not a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. It has a logo. Not a thing. Don't force it. You can't force it. It's not a thing. It has can't a logo be, and everything. Can't make it a thing. Uh, as a venue. That's probably a thing. Anyway. Anyway. So you're watching movies then? Actually, I wanted to talk about that. I. So anybody here seen the movie from 2001? No, way home? no it's it's a 2001 movie called uh, Along Came a Spider, starring Morgan Freeman. No. no. Nobody seen it. No. It's a pretty good movie, but so. I, I recently rewatched it. I hadn't oh. seen it in years. I saw it in theaters when it came out back in yeah. 2001 when I was still in freaking high school. And I remember really liking it and I just hadn't seen it in forever. And it just showed up again on Showtime, I think it was. And You're I just. High school 2001? Yeah, I graduated in 2003. Crazy. I was a fucking sophomore, I think, in 2001. I was in second grade in 2001. Seriously? Damn. Yeah. Time is relative. It's a baby. Anyway, uh, I remember really liking this movie. Um, basically, just to give you a quick plot synopsis, it's about um, a little girl who's a senator's daughter who gets kidnapped. It would have been great if it was a little girl who's a senator. <laughs> I heard that, honestly. That's what I heard. <laughs> I like, what? The little girl who's a senator's daughter gets kidnapped, and Morgan Freeman is a criminal profiler who's basically kind of tasked with with finding her um he actually gets brought into it by the kidnapper because he's like known as one of the you know the the best criminal profilers around however he he kind of semi-retired because um in a last operation he was in um he feels like his negligence got his partner killed it wasn't his fault it's just she died in the line of duty and he he kind of blamed himself so he he got out of you know doing that but he gets dragged back in by by this criminal well Just anyway he he was out. basically they <laughs> pull me back in but that you know that's not really what i wanted to talk about i just want to talk about how fucking like how much bullshit there is in this movie now that i rewatched it you know all these years later as far as like computers go they have some of the worst like zoom and enhance shit ever like (laughs) there's this one scene where they're looking at a camera and apparently the camera has a 360 degree peripheral view but it's able to zoom in on just the most minute detail of anything on a wall it fucking zooms in on a mirror and it catches the reflection of something else and it's able to like reconstruct the image based on the reflection and then for somehow like apparently the kidnapper leaves this puzzle for you know for the criminal profiler he because he kind of wants he's playing like a game with them so he has a poster that's taken down from his room and they have to try to figure out what the poster is what the image is of so that they can you know it's weird it's like they they, they're trying to figure out what the the image is of which it turns out to be an image of uh charles Lindbergh. and then when they when they realize who it is they find another image of him they zoom in on it and somehow that taps them in to a live feed of the kidnapper's house like how does fucking zooming in onto a a poster 
tap you into a live feed of something else. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Early 2000s are amazing. The yeah, it's, it, it, they have like like freaking better zoom and enhance than we do nowadays. It's like uh, so. We, uh, so I'm like really happy you brought this up. Yes. Not for this movie in particular, but more so <laughs> that there's a movie, there's a podcast I listen to uh, called Fuckface. What the fuck? And they recently brought up the movie from 2000 something, The Tuxedo with Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah. That movie, I did, and I rewatched it, and they had that 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 thing I suggested where they filmed the podcast and just timed up the movie so you could watch it with the movie. You know, I did it like that. It worked great. Just saying. Anywho, um, they and I, it was amazing. That movie was so stupid. Well, like the tuxedo, like has nano machines that laser into Jackie Chan's skin and make him this amazing kung fu artist. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. A man literally dehydrates to death. Uh, yeah, turns I, re- to dust. I remember that. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that movie, but that movie is so dumb. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the early two thousands are just <clears throat> prompt with that technology that's not real. Dude, you want to talk about crazy fucking use of technology when, like, when your computers are really starting to come on the scene? Watch the lawnmower man um, with fucking uh, Pierce Brosnan and I don't remember the uh, other actor. Um, they talk about how virtual reality is going to be like this next cutting edge thing, and they they're like virtual reality can help make people smarter and it can heal people and stuff like that by basically in that movie it's this you know very slow special needs person who cuts lawns that's why it's called the lawnmower man um and this pierce brosnan is like this researcher who's who's trying to research virtual reality to make people smarter but the government wants to use his research to make monkeys go into battlefields as soldiers yeah that's <laughs> i'm not even kidding like that's awesome like he he's using it because he wants to be able to develop people to make people smarter monkeys and help people to, to, to help people you know gain intelligence who need it and he thinks that people can be taught through a virtual reality and stuff like that but the government sees it and they're like you know what we could put this shit on monkeys and you make monkey soldiers <laughs> And give them guns and send them into the battlefield. And Pierce Brosnan wants give monkey guns. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan wants nothing to do with that. He quits because one of the monkeys goes fucking nuts, escapes. I should you say you went bananas. This is the be- <laughs> this is at the very beginning. The monkey escapes, steals a revolver from one of the security guards, kills him, <laughs> and then I think tries to kill a bunch of other people. And they fucking shoot him, like shoot him dead. They call in like, like security and stuff and they shoot the monkey dead and he's like no artemis no. or whatever the fuck the monkey's artemis. name is i don't know what the monkey's name is but then he decides to continue his research by himself at his home he picks this guy named job which is like i said the lawnmower man and he actually makes him super smart he gets so smart from the virtual reality that he he starts being able to summon computerized shit in the real world like he kills these two guys by pixelating them like literally he makes his head appear above them and like he looks down and he's like because uh, i think they're like agents coming to to get him because they're like oh we can use his powers now because he developed powers and like he he pixelates them like he turns them into pixels and then tears them apart and then he summons a fucking swarm of digital bees into the real <laughs> real real world to kill Dude. like bees. digital bees and they look so fucking bad they look worse than like something you'd see out of like reboot or you know those early cgi animation like it is so fucking hilariously bad it's actually an enjoyable movie Sounds but amazing. it's so stupid you know what we should do what? we should record an audio commentary of us watching lawnmore i'd be down with we can do that let's let's do it i've time. told you this. Okay, oh, now you do it, it. all right I, let's do it nick what have i told no, you no, I'm, I'm, fine, fine. I'm fine i'm fine let's do it i've said you're, you're, on, you're on it you're on it i'm fine let's go well let's right go. now no, later. <laughs> I'm uh, fine. I'm fine I'm busy, to do it, but but like I'm busy tomorrow. It's uh, it's real rumble tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I, I I want to talk about something specific here, which just crossed my mind, and it's, it's kind of funny, but it's also like dumb as hell. Oh man, I can't be dumber than soldier monkeys. 
Oh, let me get pretty dumb. All right, so <laughs> Soldier now monkeys. are you guys familiar with Reddit? Yes. Yes. And all the subreddits, you know, uh, all the various topics and stuff like that, both cool and cringe and all in between. Yeah. Right? Yes, My yes, favorite is r slash Big City Golf Chicks. Yeah. All right. I'm a fan of public freakout. Damn Karens. So there's a there's a subreddit which mm-hmm. I have caught once or twice, which actually just imploded recently, and you may Anti-work. know what I'm talking about. Here. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know what. Wait, what, what happened to Annie Work? Because I was, oh my god, creeper. So let's fucking talk about the this dog shit, walker. This, this this was good. All right, so first off, uh, let's let's start with the beginning. Anti work was created for to against all forms of work, you know, radical anarchists. And not stuff like all, that. not a no. It's not a. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me get to. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. It started as a small group, very small. Uh, anarch, uh, anarchists, you know, things like that, who believe in, you know, for the most part, that work is. Yeah, what it's about? I saw, her, I saw a random like it would randomly pop up like, hey, look at this. And I would see a funny one. I'm like, huh, it's pretty good. Wait, anyway, continue. Sorry. So, but then over time, it got a large following. Uh, which for people more moderate, you know, like, hey, we, 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 we don't mind working. It's just we don't like the working conditions. We want them adjusted to, you know, to be more friendly, which is, you know, a reasonable goal. And it got to like, what, 1.7 million members in that red subreddit or something like that? It was a lot. So then what happened was uh, Fox News decided to approach the moderator team, say, hey, we want to do an interview with the lead moderator, Doreen, also known as, uh, I think, it was like, Abolish Work. The and, worst possible misrepresentation. <laughs> and I'll explain why in just a second here. So they thought about themselves and the user base said, we don't want this interview. Just don't. Don't do it. And the Mara said, let's do it. And let, we'll, we'll go ahead and let let uh, Doreen do it. And this was fucking cringe. Absolutely right? cringe. So when before the usually when you when you go on a news interview or any, uh, interview of any sort and you're prepared for it, we have a you know a, a general guideline or a script. You know, make yourself professional, appear appear professional, clean up your background area. You know, dude, look like he had the, had the camera week. not tilted. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna Google this. Oh, you should. It's dude, the, great. the guy's oh, hair looked, it, honestly. The the guy's hair looked wiry and greasy. Looked like he hadn't oh, bathed in a week. It's, it's a girl. I mean, it's or whatever. It's trans. I'm sorry. Trans, yeah, it's a trans girl. The um, person, the person. I don't know. Yeah, they, them. You can use that too. So Doreen basically had just taken a shower an hour before and had not present herself in any form of fashion. Okay. And, and during this, uh, during the interview, she did one of the worst things you can do in an interview on on television: no eye contact. Okay, she was averting her eyes left and right. She was twitching her chair, swivel, swiveling back and forth, and she spoke during the interview as if she spoke for all of anti work. All right, now I can jive with that, except for what came next. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a dog walker. Huh. And you're 20 years old. Yes. And you work 10 hours a week. I think it was that much. Yeah, it was it was and, like minimal. It was like uh, like yeah. yeah, 10 like 10 hours a week yeah. or something. So this and then the the guy wasn't he Jesse Porter or something like that the interviewer Jesse Walter or some shit. Dude, that guy ate her uh, ate Dude, her alive. A poser? And you know what? I don't blame him at all cuz if you're doing an interview like that, I say okay, S, right? You do a debate, right? Yeah. And the person on the, on the yeah. other side just presents such a fucking weak argument. You're well, the alive in the debate, right? Their their purpose is to it's it's supposed to be to hit you with those hard hitting questions. So exactly. if you're if you're gonna go f- uh, up for an interview, you, you have to at least try to, ha- you know have a modicum of preparation at least you know this person yeah. didn't seem i think i think that the pr- doreen is, is that the name doreen yeah Sorry. i think that they thought it was just going to be exposure for themselves and their subreddit rather than what it was i mean this fox news reporter was basically like the whole time scolding and and condescending to this person like oh so you're you're a dog walker and you work i'm sorry how many hours per week 10 hours a week wow well you know now here's the thing though you have to to consider the following his job is to 
interview and tear down the, th the process if possible. Okay. Yes. Doreen came off as extremely <laughs> weak. Okay. She she was extremely vulnerable throughout that entire fucking interview. She made the and entire. You can, and you cannot you can't get mad at him at all in any form or fashion because he was just simply doing his job. She came it was off up to Doreen to you know. Like the Regulate entire it. subreddit of r slash anti work was nothing but a bunch of lazy uh, basement dwelling incels who don't like to work. And that's not the purpose of the subreddit. The purpose of the subreddit is to expose, like Ring said, bad working conditions, uh, bosses and managers who expect like a whole shit ton from their employees without giving them proper con compensation, without giving them um, a good work environment, you know, and it's people to try to share the horror stories of different workplaces that they have been in, um, as well as to, uh, I, I think, raise awareness of certain businesses that, you know, practice these, these predatory work habits you know so that's what the purpose of anti our slash anti work is at least in my opinion in its current iteration right before the nonsense started yes yes and and this person came off and they represented themselves as speaking for the entirety of the subreddit and it yeah. makes everybody seem like it, who would be part of that subreddit as people who don't want to work and just want to laze about you know be neck beard incels living at home and not doing anything or working the minimal possible you know work week and it was just it was it was brutal it was cringe it really was and really, really right. was. There, was, there was there was no indefensible position that doreen did and and i just say people like to jump on the fox news interviewer but the fox news interview is like you gave me a fucking present you gave me yourself you just opened I, yourself up to me i you. hated how smug he was but yeah that's i mean he 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 was gift wrapped that i mean that's yeah see here's it was served them on a silver platter load it go ahead and go to fucking town no mercy i mean you know? shit, i haven't had any preparation but i feel like right now if that guy were to come out and interview me i would do a better job of representing that subreddit and i barely glance at it i occasionally do but i mean yeah the, it never looked up at the camera or vague or very rarely did uh um, yes wasn't made up uh, you know had hair messed up the, it was just it was wearing bad. a hoodie a yeah, hoodie, a hoodie. All things. wearing yeah, a hoodie uh, the, the, the room was a mess you can see all the stuff in the background the camera was a low quality camera on top of that it was at a twist at an angle so it wasn't even straight to begin with and then she zero preparation zero tact this she shit was a even, mess from start to finish she could have even done more like with with what she did like I, she kind of mentioned that she wanted to be like what like a vet or somebody who works with animals or something like that and that's all like she could have she could have gone into it a little bit more to make it seem like she does more she goes well you know walking the dogs takes about 10 hours a week but then i also i groom them or, or whatever else they do and she goes you, you know she could have said something like you know i'm just trying to gain some life experience i also do this on the side or i i do this or i have these other hobbies you know anything anything to make herself seem less pathetic because yeah it, she seemed very pathetic it was sad it, it was bad so so once the interview was said and done they and, shut it down didn't they well I, i'll explain so basically anti-work then just goes into a a, a fucking i don't know like blood damage control saying, why the fuck was this person on there to begin with we told you not to fucking do it then the mods start power tripping uh mass deleting comments and posts uh, banning people and or should I say <laughs> okay, uh, muting people and then banning them arbitrarily saying trolling even though it was a legitimate complaint about the interview then went private so that way no, no further posts and comments be made on the subreddit uh, after that about a, uh, 12 hours there they went public again but they're still being ridiculed left and right the entire moderator team is being trashed uh, now at this point, there was there, they, the, the the groups that function within anti uh, work did spread out to others. The more the one of the bigger ones is work reform, which sounds better, by the way. Yeah, it does. Because here's the thing that people tend to think they have to think about when it comes to attempting to unionize and work conditions and so on and so forth in the public eye. Optics matter. They really do. And if you don't have the proper optics in 
in which how, how the people perceive what you're doing, it can totally trash your your movement in a heartbeat. EG, uh, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you think about it, like Antifa, Black Lives Matter, yada yada. They all have problem with the optics. So does, of course, you know, other groups. I won't go into that right now. This is the same thing here. There was little to little to, little to nothing done about doing good optics, and people forget that if you're gonna do such a thing, you have to have a proper spokesman. What I want to know is why this person, out of anybody possible, like who approached this person for the interview, and Fox News emailed the moderator team, but they specifically requested her because she was the the founding person who created the, the subreddit. She founded that subreddit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Dude, that's yeah. That that subreddit needs to go there because I feel like, like that's not uh, like I feel like like I said the purposes should be to raise awareness of predatory work practices and you know just bad workplaces and stuff like that. But yeah, this this person just completely came off as just yeah, it's just pathetic. I don't know, it's strange. Uh, so it was just a bad, bad decision. I watched the dumpster right? fire uh, like unfold, but I had no idea like how it started, like how this person got approached for an interview or anything like that. But yes, it was a yeah. fucking dumpster fire. Yes, it was. <laughs> and thus was the dr dramatic downfall of anti it, it, it was a, it was a funny fucking past couple of days though. Uh, pay money, Bubby, one of my favorite streamers. Did a, I did a bit on it, and uh, I'll have the link provided, um, just to see how, like, he points out, like, how fucking bad this was. Do moderators get paid? No, no. This is all, like, Discord. It's just people just doing what they do. Okay, because I was going to say, if they get paid, a fucking idiot could have said, like, I'm also, I work as a moderator, you know, it's part of my job. Moderator, I say, I'm a Reddit moderator, so I say, like, like a, it's like a, a, a Reddit disc or a mod, dis a Discord mod, I should say. Where it's like, I, I am just cool because I have power. Now, where is my kitten? I need her right now. My kitten? You, you, those, who, those who know, no. I have to Does anybody here know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Do I, don't I, wanna, do I, do I wanna know? No, you don't wanna know. I'll explain it. No, we'll explain it. We'll explain it. We're fine. We're fine. Anyway. Anyway, anyway that was way, a fun anyway, shipping. That's all, that's all it comes down to. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be a Reddit mod. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Really, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. Anyway, no, no, no. I think it's a good wrap-up point, no? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, <laughs> with that, we're gonna wrap it wrap it up, and I will see us out. Thank you, everybody who joined in our conversations. We appreciate it. Uh, we were joined by our guest person filling in for OBS, who was here somewhere in the background, Jess. Here. I didn't really Hello. say anything. Hello. Good we are also joined here. by Ringleader. Uh, leader. God of War Thunder. Nicholas Zombie, who we don't really hey. have a moniker for yet. Just me. Just Nicholas Zombie. Oh, you're that good, you don't need one. The oh. hostess with the most is Valkyrie Grinder. That's me. And of course, I, Espionage DB7. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please be sure to uh, leave a like, follow us on Twitch, leave a comment, let us know what you want to see. Stay tuned for all our live streams, all our game gaming, and so much more. And with that, don't be, uh, don't forget to settle down, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great one. Bye bye. I died. Bye.